Good afternoon, distinguished colleagues and guests. Please allow me to consider open the meeting of the Dissertation Council for the Defense of Li Jin Jin's thesis for the candidate degree of Pedagogical Sciences on Specialization 13002 Theory and Methods of Training Russian as a Foreign Language. The topic is development of intercultural competence of Chinese students le level B2 on the material of texts for children's reading. According to the order of St. Petersburg State University from the 12th of December 2019, number 122731 me Galaktionova Tatiana Gelevna, Doctor of Pedagogical Sciences, Associate Professor, Professor of the Institute of Pedagogics of St. Petersburg State University, was appointed the Chairman of this Dissertational Council. And also allow me to introduce my fellow board members. Tarnaeva Larisa Petrovna, Doctor of Pedagogical Sciences, Associate Professor, Professor of the Department of Foreign Languages and uh, Language Education of St. Petersburg State University, Fedotova Nina Leonidovna, Doctor of Pedagogical Sciences, Associate Professor, Professor of the Department of uh, the Russian Language as a Foreign Language and Teaching Methodology of St. Petersburg State University. Vasilyeva Galina Mikhailovna, Doctor of Philological Sciences, Professor, Professor of the Department of Intercultural Communication of Russian State University, named after Hudson. In the remote mode, we have Pratasova Yekaterina Yurivna, Doctor of Pedagogical Sciences, Associate Professor, Associate Professor, uh, of the Department of the Languages of Humanitarian Faculty of the University of Helsinki, Finland. First of all, I would like to emphasize that according to federal law, from the 23rd of August 1996, number 127, federal law on science and state scientific policy and technical policy, St. Petersburg State University has the right to independently award academic degrees. The corresponding order on the procedure for awarding academic degrees at St. Petersburg State University, on the basis of which we conduct our meeting of the Council, was issued on the 1st of September 2016, number 6821-1, here and after the order. In accordance with this order, the meeting of the Dissertation Council is co considered eligible if at least two-thirds of the approved membership of the Dissertation Council takes part in its work but not less than four persons. Our Dissertation Council consists of five members. All of them are present, including those uh, one member uh, who is acting in remote mode. Audiovisual contact is provided. Thus, we have quorum. The procedure of today's meeting of the dissertation board with a total duration of no more than two hours is the following. Um, the chairman summary report on the main content of the documents submitted by the ca candidate and their compliance with the established requirements. Answers to possible questions. A brief report of the candidate for the degree reflecting the main points of his research, 15 minutes. Questions to the candidate strictly according to the report, no more than two minutes for one question. 
responses of the candidates and the speeches of all the members of the thesis council by turns with reviews with the statements of the positions with questions and suggestions to the candidate no more than 10 minutes for the speaker the speech of the chairman with his review the answers of the candidate for the degree to the questions and remarks of the members of the dissertation council no more than 15 minutes open discussion speeches at the request of those present at the defense of the thesis with a brief report a, a brief presentation of their positions and or with specific questions and proposals to the candidates strictly on the topic of the research no more than five uh, minutes for each applicant at the same time all interested persons are requested to register in the registration sheet and before submitting their speech fully introduce themselves final answers of the applicants to the questions asked no more than five minutes the speech of the scientific supervisor no more than three minutes a five minute break before an open vote in order to make a conclusion on the issue of avoiding or not avoiding the academic degree of st petersburg state university to the candidate for the time of the discussion of the defense results by the members of the thesis council the broadcast is turned off an open individual voting counting of votes by the chairman of the dissertational council with entering the results in the minutes of the meeting a decision on awarding or not awarding the academic degree of st petersburg state university final words of the applicant no more than two minutes uh, dear colleagues are there any questions or uh, objections uh, concerning the agenda there are no questions or objections before switching to the realization of the meetings rules of the procedure i remind you to switch off your mobile phones thank you for your attention i also inform you that an audio and video recording of our meeting is being conducted as well as a live broadcast on the website of st petersburg state university simultaneous interpretation of speeches from russian into english or from english into russian is also provided let me start the procedure of the meeting and our first point a uh, brief report uh, of the chairman uh, dissertation of Li Jinjin for the degree of the candidate of pedagogical sciences on specialization 13002 theory and methods of training Russian as a foreign language on the topic development of intercultural competence of Chinese students level B2 on the material of texts for children's reading was accepted for the defense by the order of the scientific secretary of uh, st petersburg state university from the 10th of december 2019 number 121 30/1 the thesis council council was approved by the order of st petersburg state university the 12th of december 2019 number uh, 122/73/1 and I have already introduced it uh, to you. The candidate submitted the following documents to the scientific secretary of St. Petersburg State University. Uh, number one, an application form addressed to uh, the rector of St. Petersburg State University, uh, the corresponding member of the Russian Academy of Sciences, Professor Kropachev, about the acceptance for consideration and defense of the thesis submitted on the 29th of october 2019 number two the review of the scientific sec sec uh, supervisor moskovkin leonid viktorovich doctor of pedagogical sciences professor of the department of the russian language as a foreign language and the 
uh, teaching methodology of St. Petersburg State University, a list of publications containing three works which outline the main scientific results of the thesis, including three articles published in peer-reviewed scientific publications from the list approved by the Ministry of Education and Science of the Russian Federation. Number four. Number four, the thesis, uh, the uh, certificate on uh, candidate exams from the 4th of December 2017 um, issued at St. Petersburg State University certifying that our candidate successfully passed candidate exams on a specialization 440601 education and pedagogical sciences, the history and philosophy of the science, pedagogical sciences, excellent, uh, foreign language, excellent, theory and methods of teaching and training, Russian as a foreign language, excellent. Um, postgraduate diploma issued at St. Petersburg State University on the 14th of July, 2019. It certifies that our candidate received qualification researcher, teacher researcher by the decision of uh, state uh, examination commission from the third, uh, uh, second of July 2019. And the conclusion of the organization where the work was written, uh, the thesis is done in Russian and English, both in paper-based version as a manuscript and in the electronic form, the thesis is be designed in accordance with the requirements of national state standard R7.0. The thesis is printed on a multiplier with the indication of the output data in accordance with national state standard R704. It should be noted that all uh, listed documents comply with paragraph 12 of section 3 presentation and defense of dissertations procedure for awarding academic degrees at st petersburg state university appendix number one to the order and now we switch to the brief report of our candidate i remind uh, you that 15 minutes. Distinguished um, chairman, uh, distinguished board members, distinguished guests, let me introduce to you my uh, dissertation on the topic, the development of intercultural competence of Chinese students level B2 on the material of the text for children's reading the research of the process of communication between speakers of different languages show that a misunderstanding or incomplete understanding during communication arises not only due to ignorance of the interlocutor's language, but also because of ignorance of his native culture, as well as due to intercultural competence not formed among students. Nowadays, the requirements to form intercultural competence is one of the main requirements to form intercultural competence is one of the main requirements for the, uh, teaching foreign languages. For example, it is put forward in the federal state educational standard of high professional education uh, on specialization uh, in the direction of preparation uh, linguistics undergraduate program and it applies to foreign students studying Russian. All this testifies to the need for an intercultural approach to teaching Russian as a foreign language, implying not only knowledge of intercultural differences, but also an understanding of the factors that cause them, which in particular include the basic values and attitudes of two different peoples.
The basic values of each people are formed in childhood which the, uh, with the help of folk pedagogy, which include fairy tales, stories, poems, and other texts for children's reading. Their analysis allows us to understand what personality qualities are formed in childhood by representatives of a particular nation and how these qualities are manifested in their behavior. That is why, from the point of view of the intercultural approach to teaching a foreign language, it is necessary to familiarize students with foreign language texts for children's reading to teach them how to penetrate their uh, deepest meanings and to compare them with the deepest meanings of the text for children's reading of their native culture. The methodology for the formation and development of intercultural competence in courses for teaching foreign languages has been developed over the past 25-30 years in different countries of the world. At the same time, there are no scientific works in which the process of developing intercultural competence on the basis of text for children's reading would be specifically investigated. All of the above led, said led to the choice of the topic of the study. The object of this study is the process of developing intercultural competence of Chinese students B2 when teaching Russian as a foreign language on the basis of Russian and Chinese text for children's reading. The subject of this study is the methodology for the development of intercultural competence of Chinese students based on the texts for children's re reading. The purpose of this study is to develop a methodology for the development of intercultural competence of Chinese students in teaching Russian as a foreign language on the basis of Russian and Chinese texts for children's reading and its experimental verification. The goal involves solving a number of tasks that are shown on the slide. The main results of the study are the following. The definition of the concept of intercultural competence and its composition has been clarified. It is established that intercultural competence is a kind of communicative competence. It includes two parts, gen general communicative components and intercultural components. Its specific features are the orientation towards uh, correlation of languages, speech behavior, and cultures of the contacting peoples, as well as psychological qualities, which are necessary for intercultural communication. Number two, for the development of intercultural competence, the intercultural approach was chosen and justifies as the dominant approach uh, to learning involving the consideration of elements of culture as an independent unit of study. It focuses on studying the causes of intercultural differences, identifies their triggering factors. The basic principles of teaching on the basis of this approach are the principles of communicative orientation, contrast and orientation on the personality of the student. The principles of selecting educational texts for the development of the intercultural competence in teaching Russian as a foreign language. The principles of taking into account the communicative, intercultural, educational, uh, cognitive development values of the text, the principles of matching the text with the level of students' language training, and the principle of taking into account the native culture of foreign students are identified. Based on the above pre uh, mentioned principles, Russian and Chinese texts for children's reading were chosen. Uh, they are understood as folklore and copyright literary texts that are uh, 
uh, read uh, to preschool children up to seven years old by their parents or kindergarten teachers. When selecting texts for children's reading, the initial corpus was first created comprising 98 Russian and 91 Chinese texts. The initial body of text was first formed by questioning Russian and English in Chinese youth. Taking into account the criteria for typicalness of the Russian text, the possibility of comparing the Russian text with the Chinese and uh, genre variety of the text, seven Russian and seven Chinese texts were selected for trade. Uh, uh, training. Let me list them. Russian texts, Gingerbread Man, Masha and the Bear, Jeez, uh, Swans, Frost, The Prince's Frog, The Tale of the Fisherman and the Fish, The Fly, Tsakatuha, Relevant Chinese texts for uh, comparison. The Fox takes advantage of the power of the tiger, the black bear, and his wife. Fenden turns to the Buddha for advice. Endless prophet uh, Shunje and the bush girl, the three baskets of copper coins, Sigma Guang broke the Chan. A methodology has been developed for the development of intercultural competence of Chinese students. Level B2, based on Russian and Chinese texts for children's reading, which reflects the specifics of goals, content principles, and techniques, teaching aids, etc. Uh, this uh, teaching methodology differs from the existing methodology based on the reading Russian national fairy tales, and uh, that uh, it has a clear focus on developing intercultural competence and comparing students' Russian and native cultures. Number six, a typology of exercises has been developed for the developing of intercultural competence. Exercises include introducing students to Russian cultural specific vocabulary, phraseology, and Russian cultural ralia, analysis and comparison of Russian and Chinese cultural uh, realia, characters and basic ideas of texts, discussion of the attitude of native speakers, of Russian and Chinese languages to social problems reflecting in the text as well as role-playing games. Number seven, based on this selected seven Russian and seven Chinese texts as well as the developed text exercises and experimental textbook vice lessons was complied. Based on the material of this training manual, an experimental verification of the methodology system developed by us was carried out. A pedagogical experiment was conducted on March, April in 2018 at the Department of Russian as a foreign language and its teaching methods at the Faculty of Philology of St. Petersburg State University. The subjects were Chinese first-year undergraduate students who were divided into two groups, the experimental group, eight people, and the control group, eight people. The total number of experimental training hours in each group was eight hours. The whole experiment, including four stages, a stating slice, experimental training, uh, control slice, and mathematical processing of statistical data and analysis of experimental results. Experimental training was carried out according to the textbook. Wise lessons complied by us on the basis of lesson two, Masha and the Bear, and lesson four, Maroska. Classes were conducted by the researcher herself. The results of this stating section showed that the initial level of intercultural competence in the experimental group was 22.7%, in the control group 18.7%.
After experimental training according to the results of the control slice, the level of intercultural competence in the experimental group increased by 20.4% in the control group only by 9.9%. This means that uh, intercultural competence in the experimental group developed significantly faster than in the control group. Therefore, the training methodology developed by us turned out to the, be effective and the research hypothesis, hypothesis was confirmed. Our study showed that texts for children's reading may well be educational material for the formation and development of intercultural competence of Chinese students. Uh, they can be included in educational materials for foreign philological uh, for students of the faculty of philology. The experience of the experimental training allows us to draw a number of conclusions for further research. Among all the constituted components of intercultural competence, more attention should be paid to the development of the ability to compare the culture of the people of the studied language and native culture, as well as the ability to interpret similarities and differences between the two cultures. To the proposed text for children's reading, you can add text about the cultural realities and national values of the people of the studied language for additional reading teaching a foreign language in order to develop intercultural competence requires the teachers to master the intercultural competence at a high level. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. And uh, uh, now questions to the candidate reflecting the main uh, content of the report. Are there any volunteers? Is this question included into your report? If it is not included, please ask this question. You asked, uh, mentioned the fact that uh, there are several principles. The first one is the orientation at the uh, pupils, students' personality, and uh, how uh, do the uh, age principles correlate uh, at uh, Chinese and Russian? You mean how can Chinese students be uh, adapted to such texts? I mean natural interest, natural interest for reading of such kinds of texts. Thank you very much for your question, Nina Leonidovna. First of all, as a foreign student, uh, according to my own experience, when I uh, was a first or second year student, I was interested uh, in these uh, fairy tales, Russian uh, fairy tales. They are very interesting for me. And on the one hand, as for as cultural phen phenomenon, and uh, on the other hand, there are many words I don't know and which are connected with Russian culture. And it seems to me that I have to read them in order to understand what is included in these texts. And secondly, I think that we conducted experiments when on the experimental classes, the students read these texts with a high interest. The fact showed that they are interested in reading such texts. 
Thank you very much. Are there any other questions, dear colleagues? No voice. I have a question. Uh, uh, it is beyond your review. Please switch on the microphone. It is the continuation of the Nina Leonidovna's question. The development of intercultural competence of Chinese students. You develop intercultural competence uh, in students. Uh, you mean students. And you conduct experiments uh, on them. For us, uh, these uh, uh, trainees, uh, we mean students, university students, from the first year, but on the other hand, in fact, our textbooks and our uh, teaching methods, methodology can be attributed to other uh, trainees, uh, the preparatory faculty, the courses, uh, they know the language at such a level that they are able to read such texts. Thank you very much, I understood. You, dear colleagues, any other questions? No questions. Thank you very much. We switch to uh, the uh, another point. The reviews, including external reviews, there are no external reviews. And that's why we switch to the next point, the announcement of the reviews uh, by uh, board members and chairman. I begin with my review, uh, the review of the chairman of the thesis council uh, on the uh, dissertation of Li Zidzin uh, on the topic development of the intercultural competence of Chinese students level B2 on the material of text for children's reading for the degree of the candidate of Philo uh, pedagogical sciences, specialization 13002, theory and methods of training Russian as a foreign language. Uh, the studies uh, devoted to the actual uh, topic, there is uh, intercultural approach in the uh, teaching uh, foreign language on the material of uh, children's uh, uh, texts uh, in Russian and uh, Chinese. Our candidate highlights that it is very necessary to understand the reasons, the factors for such. Uh, uh, we speak about basic pre uh, values and uh, values uh, in two peoples. Uh, here we speak about fairy tales. Um, poems and other texts for children's reading. In the first chapter, theoretical uh, backgrounds for, of the development of intercultural competence of Chinese students on the material of the text for children's reading, the author considers the main provisions of the theory of intercultural communications and intercultural competence. The uh, essence and principles of intercultural approach towards the development of intercultural competence in uh, teaching the foreign language are described. Russian texts for children's reading are represented as a um, uh, uh, studying material for the development of intercultural competence uh, when uh, we teach Russian as a foreign language. And in the second chapter, the methods of the development of intercultural competence of Chinese students on the uh, basis of the text for children's reading and its experimental uh, testing. Uh, the main uh, provisions of the methods of the development of intercultural competence of Chinese students on the material of text for children's reading are represented. There are 112 works uh, uh, in the literary list, including 10 sources uh, in a foreign language. 
and independent individual interests of high interest, uh, the raw materials of appendixes. Uh, the questionnaire form for Chinese and Russian students, the documents with the description of the criteria of the uh, assessment of the answers in the course of experimental uh, teaching, the translation of Chinese uh, texts uh, used in the textbook wise lessons the explanation of the choice of the Russian text for children's reading, the correlation of uh, pedagogical functions of Russian and Chinese texts, the development of the criteria of the selection of texts uh, for the de development of the intercultural com competence, the development of the typology of the exercises for the development of intercultural competence. Scientific novelty is stipulated by the understanding of the connection of intercultural competence with communicative competence, the description of the uh, structure of intercultural competence, the definition of the principles of the uh, selection of Russian and Chinese texts for children's reading as a means of the development of intercultural competence, uh, the characteristics of pedagogical functions of Russian and Chinese texts for children's reading, the provision for the defense about the comparative characteristics of Russian and Chinese texts for children's reading uh, with respect to the presence of entertaining aesthetic uh, moral functions and the description of the staged selection of the text for children's reading the uh, creation of the initial um, set of texts with the uh, basis to uh, based on the data from the questionnaire of the Russian and Chinese youth and uh, the selection of texts for teaching, which is conducted from the point of view of communicative, intercultural, educational, uh, developing uh, value of the text, uh, the research is of high practical value, without doubt, uh, is the fact that theoretical provisions of the research can be applied in the courses of the lectures on teaching methods uh, concerning Russian as a, a foreign language. And uh, please allow me to switch to the questions. As any uh, completed uh, research is not deprived uh, from the questions. Uh, the first remark is connected with the fa uh, with the um, condition of the development of intercultural competence of Chinese students when they are taught Russian as a foreign language. The author poses the hypothesis that the process of the development of intercultural communication will be uh, effective if students have knowledge about cultural and specific uh, lexis and uh, collocations, um, the norms of behavior of Russian people, and so on. How did you test this hypothesis and what are the results? The second question is connected with the choice of text for children's reading. Uh, the author highlights that the selection of the text for children's reading with the purpose of the formation and development of intercultural competence of Chinese students can be uh, uh, made uh, uh, differently. Um, at the same time, there is analogous uh, uh, 
um, survey of Chinese students in order to understand their knowledge about typical Chinese texts for children's reading. According to the results of this survey, it is clear that all the uh, works uh, named by Russian students, these are folk or lit li li uh, fairy tales. It is obvious that the category texts for children's reading include more, uh, includes a wider uh, spectrum of genres. Besides, the texts um, uh, uh, received as a result of survey mostly are uh, works of the 19th or, 20, 19th or 20th century. And it is surprising that the author is limited by this uh, time period and neglects modern children's literature. Uh, the third question is connected with the personality and professional level of the uh, pedagogue or teacher uh, who uh, is responsible for the development of intercultural competence. The author highlights that the uh, teaching foreign language with the aim to develop intercultural competence requires uh, from the teacher the uh, knowledge about intercultural competence at the high level. This topic is not covered and explained in the work, but these remarks don't spoil the overall positive impression from the Thesis. The uh, thesis of Li Jinzin on the topic, the development of the intercultural competence of Chinese students, level B2 on the material of text for children's reading, conforms with the uh, requirements uh, stated by the order number 6821 uh, slash 1 from the 1st of September 2016, uh, procedure on awarding degrees at St. Petersburg State University, and our candidate Li Jinzin um, deserves the uh, degree of the candidate of pedagogical sciences on specialization 13002, uh, theory and methods of training Russian as a foreign language associate professor of the Institute of Pedagogy, uh, St. Petersburg State University, Galaktionova Tatiana Gelevna, the chairman of the dissertation council. Dear colleagues, please announce your reviews as uh, because our candidate wants to answer our remarks and questions uh, after all reviews are announced. Uh, please, dear colleagues, who wants to ask, uh, to s uh, well, Vasilieva Galina Mikhailovna, I got acquainted with the uh, dissertation of Lidze Zin. I will try to be as brief as possible with my opinion about her and her dissertation, National Arranged Methods of the Teaching Russian as a Foreign Language uh, requires efficient concepts of teaching and development of teaching material oriented at uh, Chinese students, numerous Chinese students who are uh, learning Russian. Uh, recently, uh, there uh, have been um, a lot of uh, theses uh, devoted to the formation of intercultural, social, cultural, and lingua cultural, uh, lexical, and other competences of Chinese students containing different interpretations of their content and volume, uh, which is quite logical. The actuality and novelty of the thesis of Li Zinzin is connected with the specification of the concept of intercultural comp uh, competence, which is open question in the methods of uh, teaching Russian as a foreign language uh, with the use of uh, subject of education text for children's reading, uh, having uh, culturological and lingua method, methodological potential. In the theoretical part of the thesis, our candidates cons considers the concepts of communicative approach, intercultural comp 
communication and the cultural competence and intercultural approach to the structure uh, structuring of uh, competence while describing this concept the candidate demonstrated her familiarity uh, with the main verbs of russian and foreign uh, methodology specialists and uh, she uh, could find the problematics which proves the high level of theoretical and professional preparation of the research and uh, diverse argumentation and use of the term text for children's reading and it is separated from the concept children's literature page 6268 it is considerable that all the details were uh, uh, dis described discussed in the first uh, part of the thesis and she elaborated the reliable apparatus of the research she addressed the specific uh, material both in russian and chinese and so the uh, basis for the formation of the competence of Chinese students and to create the uh, methodology for working with such texts, our candidate uh, questions Russian and Chinese students in order to uh, find out uh, actual texts. Uh, they uh, got acquainted with in the early uh, childhood. The results are systematized and represented in the thesis. Uh, there are principles of the selecting of the text, principles of communicative intercultural uh, developing and uh, aims. Uh, on the basis of these principles and criteria, typicality and the opportunity of comparison, the author selected seven Russian and seven Chinese texts of the uh, folk fairy tales and the candidate is, was very hard working. She analyzed the text in detail. She uh, figured out cognitive function, cultural and informative realia, culturally marked uh, lexis, moral values contained in the text and comparative parts, the uh, comparison of cultural and methodological potential of Russian and Chinese fairy tales. The work is um, characterized by theoretical uh, significance and so on. Uh, and she created, developed her own classification of the text for children's reading. And uh, the structure of competence uh, can be used not only while teaching Russian as foreign language, but uh, teaching culturally marked uh, lexis. Uh, it is necessary to highlight practical significance of the work, the materials of the dissertation are actual focuses on intercultural communication, uh, um, lingua culturology and other disciplines. And the fragments of the lessons can be uh, used uh, in uh, classes on uh, colloquial practice, uh, conversational practice uh, among uh, Chinese students. And the thesis of Li Zidzin is characterized by the uh, novelty, uh, the modernity of new concepts, uh, specific innovations which are connected with uh, inclusion Russian and children's text into the practice of teaching Russian as a foreign language. Principles and criteria of uh, their selection Li Zinzin showed herself as a qualified specialist, as a scrupulous researcher in the sphere of linguistic culturology and lingua culturology. The main characteristic of the thesis is the reliability and objectiveness of the results. They were obtained in the course of the controlling experiment and mathematical um, um, mathematical uh, calculation of the data 
the design of the work uh, is quite perfect. The aim is uh, achieved, uh, and the effective method of the development of intercultural competence of Chinese students on the material of the texts aimed at uh, children's reading the publications of the author completely reflect the uh, main contact of the thesis research. Uh, I have got some questions of the discussion character. The author of the thesis uh, um, uh, compared in detail Russian and Chinese uh, fairy tales with uh, close uh, subjects uh, which became uh, the material for teaching. The correlation of uh, the fairy tales is correct and also methodically justified and uh, they are very complicated and uh, the motives sometimes come uh, are rooted in mythological and religious uh, world view of peoples, and uh, this uh, uh, complex correlation in methodological purposes is justified and uh, it is correct. But there is a question: Why? Uh, they were not analyzed and included into the content of the uh, training, the texts of world children's uh, uh, literature, which are uh, very famous, uh, uh, not only in Russia, but abroad, for example, Cinderella, the Red Cap, and other fairy tales. In our opinion, the uh, similarity and uh, famous character of the source is the condition for uh, the object uh, ob um, uh, for the uh, specificity of uh, for objective uh, comparison and the uh, peculiarity of translation. Uh, and uh, subject interpretations, uh, intentions, moral intentions, and the peculiarities of understanding of the general text of Russian and Chinese students can become um, perfect uh, com uh, comparative material. And page 48, the author uses two terms. Con uh, contrast principle and comparative principle. And uh, uh, are these synonyms? And on the whole, the thesis of Li Zinzin on the topic development of the intercultural competence of Chinese students level B2 on the material of texts for children's reading conforms with the uh, order from the 1st of September 6821-1, procedure on awarding degrees at um, St. Petersburg State University, and our candidate deserves the degree of the candidate of pedagogical sciences on specialization 130002 theory and methods of training. Russian as a foreign language point 11 was not violated by our candidate. Galina Mikhailovna, thank you very much. And now I would like, the, uh, like to give the floor to the board member. Doctor of Pedagogical Sciences, uh, the Professor of the Department of Foreign Languages and Lingua Didactics of St. Petersburg State University, Tarnaeva Larisa Lvovna. Larisa Petrovna. First, I would like to pay your attention to the uh, timely character and modernity, because in the modern world, uh, there is a question about, about the interaction, relationships uh, of people who belong to different cultures and speak different languages. And uh, that's why there is a serious challenge uh, to find the forms of communication which will allow different peoples to live a global world, preserve their cultural identity and respect 
uh, uh, cultural identity of other peoples, and it is very uh, important, uh, vitally important, vit vital uh, task. And the answers of the lingua didactics to these uh, challenges uh, was the development of the methods of uh, teaching uh, of intercultural communication. And in this respect, our candidate, the actuality of the, the dissertation is without doubt. And if we speak about general characteristics of the work, it is necessary to emphasize that methodological apparatus of the research which is represented in the introduction uh, reflects the theoretical and methodological uh, methodological background and uh, the hypothesis of the author is, can be proved the novelty theoretical and practical value is explained and the explanation of the methods of the development and so the main provisions of the theory of intercultural communication are uh, explained and described the principles of intercultural approach to the development of intercultural competence of Chinese students who um, uh, learn Russian, the principles of the selection of their corpus of the text, they correlate with the tasks and aims of the research. And the second chapter describes the methods of the uh, competence development. And uh, then my vision of advantages and the contribution of this work into the development of the modern methodology. The main dignity of the work is the author's vision of the content of intercultural competence. Here, uh, the author uh, figure, figures out uh, psychological and cognitive component. And uh, cognitive component is of higher uh, interest. It includes the uh, uh, interpreted in language units culturally significant information which reflects the main features of the mentality of the uh, Chinese speaking uh, students and uh, Russian speaking st students and this uh, the uh, simultaneous uh, learning of the language and the culture of the peoples and it is uh, defined by the factors which stipulate these uh, differences and uh, along with uh, the, uh, the uh, what was mentioned historical and geographical knowledge uh, religious knowledge different values uh, behavioral norms and so on are very important as a psychological component the ability to compare cultural information uh, is given in the thesis and the uh, difference and similarities are uh, also uh, provided and the differences between the native and uh, other culture and the ability to solve the problems of cultural barriers the uh, uh, teaching is uh, aimed at, uh, is uh, conducted on the basis of corpus of the text and methodological uh, tools and I would like to uh, focus on problematic character of the tasks of the methodological uh, uh, tools which our author uses. The corpus of the text is of high attention. The author developed and represented the principles of selection, general principles and uh, uh, separate principles, communicative, intercultural, uh, educational, developing values and private principles, the principles of the uh, uh, correlation of the text with the level of preparation of the students, the accent on the necessity to form, uh, necessity to 
the accent of the workers on the educational and developing component of the methods of forming of intercultural competence. And the corpus of the text ma textual material is very impressive to uh, selecting folk uh, t uh, texts of different genres. Uh, the author highlights the peculiarities of mentality, values, social, cultural uh, backgrounds and norms. The textual material includes uh, the fairy tales of Tchaikovsky, Pushkin, Tolstoy, uh, legends. In my opinion, such a uh, choice of the author is stipulated by the fact that she Lidia Zin uh, is uh, focused on traditional values of traditional and cultural uh, uh, and Chinese, uh, Russian and Chinese culture, which are reflected in the uh, works she selected. And I would like to pay your attention to the in-depth uh, developing and educational potential of the work. Uh, the exercises and tasks uh, includes of uh, textbook wires lesson includes uh, discussion problematic uh, tasks uh, role play um, creative play uh, and it makes the students think about national character of the peoples analyze and correlate their spiritual values there are several questions i liked uh, for example, swan geese, uh, fairy tales uh, tell uh, which, uh, what are the similarities and uh, between uh, Russian and Chinese girls, which uh, qualities of the girl are uh, assessed uh, in appreciated in Russian and Chinese culture. Of her impression is the cover, the uh, broad spectrum of the coverage of uh, Chinese and uh, Russian values, uh, respect for elders, uh, divorce, the creation of new family baths, uh, uh, village house, uh, households, and so on. These are typical features of Russian really and they are correlated with uh, Russian really and the results of experimental education uh, give uh, the results of the development of this uh, math teaching methods and the level of intercultural competence uh, increased uh, significantly and uh, Apart from this positive side, I have some remarks or questions on the content of the work. One of the provisions uh, con uh, concerning provisions for the defense, Russian texts, the characteristics of Russian texts, they have uh, aesthetic, educational, and cognitive uh, value and didacticism of these texts. There are differences on the level of the heroes, characters, and so on. Here I have a question. What is the provision for the defense in these statements? It is a stylistic characteristic of the text with the elements of comparative lingua cultural analysis. Number two, uh, about in intercultural competence, uh, the concept about uh, the fact that intercultural competence is the type of communicative competence. Uh, maybe uh, uh, in the absence of the proofs for this, Maybe it is of declarative uh, character and intercultural competence uh, equals to communicative. But it is not so, uh, just because they have some similarities. It is not so. Uh, uh, such point of view is uh, quite arguable. Question number three. In your work, you represent the parameters for the 
measurement of the level of formation of uh, intercultural competence uh, in correlation with the level of the knowledge and skills and uh, as for uh, calculating of the coefficient of the knowledge level and skills it is without doubt it is clear but the structure of intercultural competence uh, the structure of intercultural competence includes psychological component and uh, which includes uh, the readiness uh, to uh, communicate and openness and activity in communicational process and the uh, readiness to uh, go beyond the frames of your own uh, culture and uh, and how readiness openness act activeness uh, are included into the number of uh, measured parameters but uh, all in all the I, I uh, go, have positive impression from the thesis on the whole our candidate coped with the tasks and goals the thesis is independent and original work it contains novelty theoretical and practical significance the structure uh, reflects the results of the research uh, to full extent. The authors, the author, uh, uh, possesses uh, professional lexis. The conclusions uh, uh, conforms with the requirements for dissertations. And the uh, dissertation on the topic development of the intercultural competence of Chinese students level B2 on the material of the text for children's reading conforms with the requirements uh, from the order 6821-1 from the 1st of September 2016, procedure on awarding degrees at St. Petersburg State University and our candidate deserves the degree of the candidate of pedagogical sciences. Thank you very much, Larisa Petrovna. And now I would like to give the floor to the board members Fedotova Nina Leonidovna, Doctor of Pedagogical Sciences, Associate Professor, Professor of the Department of the Russian as a Foreign Language and uh, Teaching Methodology of St. Petersburg State University. Mm -hmm. And uh, the innovational models are connected with the high interest of uh, and uh, it opens new opportunities of education and with uh, educational social significant values, the development of subjectivity or individuality of a foreign uh, a student uh, who is ready to the dialogue of culture, the national and cultural values and the peculiarities of the interpretation are very important for each, for peoples. And they actualized in the context of polycultural and poly polymodal format of modern lingua didactics. Today's language world uh, openly demonstrates uh, integration in all spheres of uh, human life from the development of ecosystem to the interpretation of the world's model of the gravitational system or the role of languages in the social cultural environment the optimization of the uh, process the development of uh, intercultural competence uh, stipulates the actuality of the dissertation and uh, Russian and Chinese text for children's re reading is of high interest for our candidate. Level B2. And uh, the uh, competence is theoretically uh, explained, reasoned, 
the choice of Russian and Chinese texts for children's reading as the uh, means for the development of Russian competencies. Competencies. The criteria for the selection for such uh, training texts, the principles of the development of intercultural competence on the material of the children's texts and uh, theoretical uh, significance of the research and the uh, the accents are shifted from the language itself to the intercultural interactions in all aspects. Uh, Shen analyzed in detail uh, the existing point of view. She attempted to uh, analyze communication of the one or two representatives from different co um, countries. As a result, mutual understanding should be achieved. And apart from that, the author uh, states uh, that intercultural communication it is the act of communication. And, uh, and so the consideration of the elements of uh, the culture as the elements of independent uh, uh, learning. The main principles of uh, teaching, these are principles of communicative uh, orientation and orientation to the personality and a detailed analysis of the point of views on the structure of uh, the research. She analyzed the existing uh, works. This part of the research is of high theoretical and practical value. The materials can be used in the seminars on the methods of teaching Russian as a foreign language. The uh, uh, And so the opportunity to uh, communicate with the native uh, speakers and the results will be positive. Li Zizin conducting survey on the basis of which she figured out the most popular texts for children's reading. And as a result, the selection of uh, training texts was uh, conducted, uh, paragraph 1.4, and of high interest is the textbook to, for the development of intercultural competence but its name, Wise Thoughts, does not reflect the uh, intercultural approach uh, for uh, learning Russian as a foreign language. Uh, a set of uh, uh, tasks are oriented uh, at Chinese philologist students. It is the familiarity with uh, cultural specific lexis, colloquial phrases, uh, the acquaintance with uh, Russian realia, the search for additional information for them, the analysis of uh, the uh, the comparison of Russian and Chinese cultural realia, the main ideas in the text, uh, the discussion of uh, the orientation of Russian and uh, Chinese cultures, the didactic material of the work is of practical value. The author created and um, uh, tested intercultural competence on the basis of uh, children's uh, on text for children's reading and and without doubt the reliability of the results and the conclusions can be recommended for the use in the creation of uh, training programs and textbooks 
aimed at the teaching of Rus uh, Chinese students, Russian language, and the principles can be successfully applied in language or non-language environment. The results of the experiments on the efficiency of the methodology are very successful. The content of the thesis proves the methodological competence of the author, the ability to be logical, uh, proves that the aim of the task uh, of the research is uh, achieved and uh, the dissertation uh, has a scientific uh, novelty. The results of the experiment allows us to conclude uh, that our uh, candidate contributed to uh, the development of the intercultural competence of uh, Chinese philologists, practical value of the and uh, there are some uh, remarks. Page five of the thesis, uh, you mentioned that in the context of the uh, teaching of, and here there is the essence of intercultural uh, approach. Uh, the reasons for uh, 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 intercultural differences, it is the task of philologists, but not the students. Uh, general com uh, communicate page 92. To general uh, communicative components, we can attribute to uh, speech skills. Uh, and to the second group, uh, uh, there in the second group, there are psychological qualities, quotation, which allow the students to better understand their partner on the level of the culture. In our opinion, uh, the uh, inclusion of psychological qualities of students into intercultural components are not very well explained. Then the author states that they, apart from the text from children's reading and uh, cartoons uh, which were shot uh, on the subjects of these texts as a means for the development of intercultural competence can be technical devices, computer, projector, and so on, page 106. Technical devices are unlikely considered uh, as the means for the development of any type of communicative competence uh, on the uh, language which is learned. Uh, and page 152, the parameters of the measurement of the level of intercultural competence of Chinese students, you attribute the knowledge uh, and uh, of lexis and colloquial phrases of the Russian language, which are closely connected with the cultural reality and values of Russian people. And um, what uh, is the number of lexical units and idioms for B2 level, and what's the difference between the parameters of the measurement of the level of intercultural competence, uh, mentality, and the values of two people. But uh, my remarks do, uh, don't spoil their overall impression from the thesis. The hypothesis was proved. Uh, the main provisions of the thesis were reflected in seven publications. Three of them uh, were published in uh, the journals, which are recommended by High Station Committee. The thesis of our candidate on the topic development of intercultural competence of Chinese students level B2 conforms with the main requirements stated by the order from the 1st of September 2016 and number 6821-1. Procedure on awarding academic degrees at St. Petersburg State University. And the candidate uh, deserves the degree of the candidate of pedagogical sciences on specialty 13002 theory and methods of training Russian as a foreign language. Point 11 was not violated by our candidate. 
Nina Leonidovna, thank you very much. And now I would like to give the floor to the board member Pratasova Yekaterina Yurevna, Doctor of Pedagogical Sciences, Associate Professor uh, of the Department of the Department of Humanitarian Faculty of the University of Helsinki, Finland. Yekaterina Yurevna, the floor is yours. Can you hear me? Thank you very much. And the success of oral or written cultural interaction at the every stage of the mastering any language is um, manifesting in the fact uh, the, uh, how uh, those who communicate take into account uh, famous information information about cultural specificity of communication in other in a foreign language and lexis of phraseology and uh, in, uh, intercultural communication it is one way street and that's why it is necessary not only to take into account other uh, values but understand your own values and that's why actuality of the research uh, is not only in the creation of interesting materials for the uh, teaching Russian as a foreign language and the culture of Chinese students but in the explanation of potential difficulties which can uh, um, have uh, which can appear and uh, which should be taken into account by our teachers and uh, the thesis uh, have a lot of generalizations which violate the principles of respect and uh, uh, tolerance and it impedes uh, final conclusions uh, and staged approach is manifested in the strict selection of the material available material but complex material and it uh, uh, the, the knowledge of such material give maximally uh, fast and uh, uh, improve, fast improvement uh, in many parameters. It is uh, it follows the principles of uh, integration uh, from cultural point of view such material should be multifunctional and besides it should uh, operate at all levels of language system for example be uh, considerable for the mastering of phonetics intonation syntax, uh, syntax and so on the candidate uh, came to a considerable conclusion and I, uh, I, Russian text for children's reading have uh, aesthetic and cognitive functions. Moral function uh, is not shown in such text for Chinese texts. Uh, didacticism uh, is uh, peculiar. Despite the fact that Chinese texts uh, are similar with Russian texts, there are differences at the level of characters, relationships between characters, and also moral values reflected in the text. In the thesis, uh, our candidate mentions that every work reflects all the imaginations about the uh, world, which were very important at the moment when this work was written uh, in fact uh, it is I uh, uh, we can agree with the use of the term text for children's reading it's very easy to imagine which what uh, kind of intellectual work was conducted by our candidate and the uh, focus on the authentic material materials it's also uh, very important but I want to know that three bears fairy tale uh, has international 
plot and it immune idioms for ch uh, Chinese students uh, of course it uh, does not mean that uh, it is forbidden to discuss uh, the fairy tales uh, in comparative uh, course and our candidate proved uh, the uh, that the results are fa affected by the time of the year of the uh, survey. For example, Easter, they are motivated to find out anything about festive table. And uh, for example, uh, Ch the Chinese drink rice porridge. Uh, uh, whereas uh, the Russians, they eat rice uh, porridge and for example pie and small uh, pie they are different and the presence of gastronomic diminutive in the russian language uh, uh, the uh, some repetitions in first and second chapters as for the design of the work a b c letters uh, uh, do they uh, define the same uh, students for example the translation intercultural attitude uh, the translation of the term intercultural attitude into russian is um, uh, questionable here we speak about b2 and uh, for it we have uh, specific paradigms of the assessment the theoretical apparatus is very complete so the texts are diverse and the results are reliable and they are very important and uh, the idea about intercultural competence as uh, we can we say that uh, intercultural competence is developed uh, al uh, along with uh, cultural uh, co competence whether and the behavior of a child when he faces with uh, another culture I can't understand which language uh, should be used uh, when reading Chinese uh, uh, fairy tales and which language should be used uh, when you uh, discuss something and uh, what is translated in the course of uh, lessons and which form was used uh, when you applied project method uh, did your students uh, prepare any projects did they uh, write essays uh, for example about Russian baths the hygiene uh, and they search for additional information for example home assignments and all the remarks are of discussive character and they don't influence the overall positive evaluation of work and the thesis of Li Zin, the development of intercultural competence of Chinese students level B2 on the material of text for children's reading conforms with the requirements of the students and our candidate deserve the uh, degree uh, uh, of uh, 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 candidate of pedagogical sciences and point 11 was, uh, 11 was not violated by our candidate distinguished co uh, colleagues uh, we finished with the reviews of the board members and now let us get down to general comments by our candidate no more than 15 minutes dear um, board members thank you for your attention to my dissertation for the feedback provided and especially for questions and comments that are important and useful to me i accept all your comments with great uh, with gratitude and i will try to answer the questions
questions by Tatiana Gelevna Galaktionova. The first question is about the method of testing the hypothesis and the corresponding conclusions. During the experimental training, we identified seven parameters for testing the intercultural competence acquired by students. Page 96. These parameters correspond to the conditions for the development of intercultural competence, which we named in the hypothesis. During the experiment, we came to the conclusion that students of the experimental group are at a higher level, acquired knowledge and skills that correspond to each parameter. Their general level of intercultural competence increased. Thus, the hypothesis of this study was confirmed. This second remark on the inclusion of works of modern children's literature in the learning process, a body of texts for children's reading was complied by us based on the analysis of the results of a survey of students aged 1830. It was found out that in their childhood they read exactly the works of the 19th centuries. There were no contemporary texts among them. Therefore, for the experimental manual, we chose precisely this text. Question three, uh, the, about the indicators of the level of intercultural competence of the teacher. It seems that the development of such indicators is the topic of separate study. At the same time, we believe that when developing them, the same parameters can be taken into account by which we measured the level of intercultural competence of students in our work. From our point of view, the teacher of the Russian language has a high level of intercultural competence when he is well acquainted with the native uh, culture of students and the culture of native speakers of the studied language with the differences and similarities between the two cultures uh, he takes into account the national and cultural characteristics of students when communicating and in the process of teaching their language. Questions of Galena Mikhailovna Vasilieva. Uh, the first question is about the inclusion of world children's literature in the content of instruction. For the development of intercultural competence, it is important that students learn the culture and the basic values of the people of the language being studied. In our work, the Russian language, and be able to compare them with the culture of their people. Information about the national culture is contained in the folk texts for children's reading and not in the world children's literature. The culture reflected in the world children's uh, culture is no longer typical of a certain people and does not ma matter much for intercultural comparison. Therefore, we did not include the text of world children's literature in the content of instruction. The second question about the constructive and comparative principles. In this case, these are synonyms. We are talking about the same thing. We understand that the syn synonymy of uh, terms in a specific text is uh, undesirable, and we promise to take this into account in future work. Questions by Larisa Petrovna uh, Tarnaeva. The first question is where the position to be defended is the conclusion about the function of Russian and Chinese text for children's reading. After questioning of Russian and Chinese students about the text for children's reading, we analyzed the pedagogical functions of the Russian and Chinese text they named and came to the appropriate conclusions. We believe this is novelty of our research. In addition, it was the fi finding that helped us to find out that the process of working with the text for children's reading texts are required to analyze their functional orientation. The second question is whether intercultural competence is a kind of communicative competence. Here the problem is not simple addition. 
a variety according to the great explanatory explanatory dictionary of the modern Russian language by Dmitry Nikolaevich Ushakov is one who or some thing that represents a modification a particular manifestation of some general category some type a phenomenon it should be emphasized that the ratio of intercultural and com communicative competences is the ratio by, of private and general. That is, communicative uh, competence is a general concept. And intercultural uh, competence, which includes all the common signs of communicative competence and its specific features, is a particular concept. The third question about the inclusion of psychological components in the number of measured parameters. In seven developed measured parameters, we included such psychological components as a respectful and tolerant attitude to Russian culture and the differences between Russian and Chinese cultures, awareness of possible misunderstanding or cultural conflict in the intercultural communication and the ability to solve emerging problems which are actually intercultural components and are more important for students uh, uh, at B2 level. We have not considered the general communicative components that should be already mastered by second level students at a satisfactory level. Questions of from from Nina Leonidovna Fedotova. The second question is about the content of psychological qualities included in the intercultural components of intercultural competence. Based on the work of our predecessors, we we include in such psychological qualities awareness of difference between Russian and Chinese cultures sensitivity to them, respect for Russian culture, a tolerant attitude to difference between Russian and Chinese cultures, psychological readiness for the possible emergence of misunderstanding or cultural conflict, the ability to control your emotions with the lack of understanding or cultural conflict. These psychological qualities create a favorable atmosphere for intercultural communication. The fourth question is about establishing the number of lexical units and idioms for B2 level. It is quite difficult to determine how many words of the lexical minimum of level B2 are connected with the cultural reality of the Russian people, but the material for teaching in our work is text for children's reading. Based on the selected text, you can set the number of lexical units and phraseological units for students. Our experimental study uh, uh, guide lists only 75 unfamiliar words related to culture and uh, eight uh, phraseological units. Thanks to Nina Leonidovna for this question. It showed us the direction of our work, which requires further research. Uh, the fifth question is about the difference between the ability to compare Russian and Chinese cultural realities parameter from the ability to interpret the similarities of Russian and Chinese cultures. The, uh, ability to compare Russian and Chinese cultural realities means that students can compare two cultures, name their similarities and differences. And the ability to interpret the similarities and differences between Russian and Chinese cultures means that students can determine the reasons for uh, these differences and similarities, or at least make assumptions about these reasons. We completely agree with the first and third comments of respected Nina Leonidovna and we'll take them into account in uh, the future. Then, questions 
from Ekaterina Yurevna Pratasova. The first question is the f about the formation of intercultural competence together with communicative competence in children. It is difficult for us to answer this question since we did not investigate the formation of intercultural competence uh, uh, in early childhood. Our subjects are adult students. However, it can be assumed that in early childhood only the communicative core of intercultural competence is formed at first. That is communicative competence in the future based on it, intercultural components can gradually form one after another. Our studies showed that intercultural competence can be formed and developed on the basis of communicative competence, perhaps precisely because it contains the main features of communicative competence. The second question is about the language of reading uh, of Chinese tales. We recommend presenting Chinese tales in Chinese. You can give an assignment to read them at home, but the discussion after reading at all other types of work should be carried out in the studied Russian language. If the teacher is a native speaker of the Russian language, then he must have a translation of Chinese fairy tales into Russian. Such a translation is presented in the dissertation in Appendix 3. If the teacher is a native speaker of the Chinese language, then in the lesson, most of the time, he should speak Russian with the students. Uh, question three, the third question about the project method and the search for additional information. Carrying out a pedagogical experiment, we did not ask students to carry out project tasks, but in the experimental textbook, in the final task of uh, the project method is used. Students must choose from one of the eight proposed topics and prepare a slide presentation in which not only Russian and Chinese cultural realities need to be presented, but uh, uh, but compare them, find similarities and differences, and try to explain the reasons. In experimental training, we did not check how the search for additional information was carried out. Perhaps because of this, the level of ability to search for information about the Russian and Chinese cultures has increased slightly. Thus, we conducted after experiment on page 154, if the teacher gives as a homework a search for information about cultural realities and values, then in the text, uh, in the next lesson, it is necessary to monitor and comment on its implementation. Uh, as for the verbs which are used with uh, the word porridge, I would like to emphasize uh, that in China we use uh, collocations drink uh, porridge uh, of course spoon can be used but uh, some people uh, drink uh, porridge uh, through the age of the uh, plate and as for the translation from the uh, English into Russian uh, ch from uh, ch uh, Chinese into Russian. I would like to express my gratitude to the board members. Your comments are very important, interesting, and useful for our further research. Distinguished colleagues, the, and uh, now the opportunity uh, to have the floor those who are not uh, from those who are not included into the dissertation council there are no such volunteers we skip this point and turn to the other point the speeches of the scientific supervisor i would like to give the floor to the doctor of pedagogical sciences professor moskovkin leonid viktorovich Distinguished colleagues, 
Li Zizin edu was educated on a post at postgraduate uh, pro program at the Department of the Russian language as a foreign language and methods of its teaching. For this period, she developed theoretical backgrounds for the research. She developed the methodology. She conducted experimental uh, uh, checkup. Uh, she published uh, seven scientific works. Three of them are published in the journals from the list of high attestation committees. She successfully defended uh, uh, final uh, qualification work. Uh, she was discussed uh, uh, by the expert group, and according to the results of this discussion, the thesis was recommended for the defense. The topic of the dissertation complying with the passport of the scientific speciality 13002. The thesis is actual, has scientific no novelty and theoretical and practical significance. The main results, the most important results of the thesis, the specification of the uh, concept of intercultural competence, uh, intercultural competence, the uh, justification of the uh, choice of Russian and Chinese. Uh, uh, text for children's reading, uh, correlation of pedagogical function of Russian and Chinese uh, text for the reading on the material of the text for children's reading and experimental proof of the opportunity of formation of intercultural competence of the material of the text for children's reading. And for that, Li Zinzin um, created a textbook which I liked very much, and it can be used in different uh, conditions of the Russian uh, language. The work on the text of the thesis, uh, working on the text of the thesis, Li Zin, uh, Zin uh, uh, showed as a qualified researcher and so on, and uh, she uh, has, she is broad-minded, she's able to think creatively, and I would like to say that Li Zinzin, when I speak about her broad mind, uh, she uh, and entered postgraduate uh, uh, program after uh, she finished master's program uh, and she uh, studied Russian fairy tales uh, there. And her independence, uh, independent character of statements, ideas is very clear and uh, this uh, uh, thesis can be uh, submitted for the defense. And now I can say that I hope that Li Zinzin will continue her scientific works on uh, the methods of teaching, and uh, she will be successful, I'm sure. Thank you very much. Leonid Viktorovich, thank you very much, distinguished colleagues. At now the stage of the discussion, uh, and I ask you to turn off the sound uh, during the broadcast of the meeting guests and colleagues who are not board members. I ask to leave the hall. I will invite you when our consultation meeting is over a five-minute break.
dear participants, dear guests, uh, the meeting, open voting. The meeting continues. I ask you to switch on the sound of the meeting's broadcast to make sure that it is working. The conclusive minutes of the dissertational council's meeting are coming. I raise the question of awarding an academic degree to an open roll call. I remind you that the decision of the dissertation council on the issue of the awarding the degree is considered positive if more than half of it voted for, but not less than three members of the dissertational council who participated in the meeting. In accordance with paragraph 23 of the procedure for awarding academic degrees at St. Petersburg State University. Appendix number one to the order. Board member Tarnaeva Larisa Petrovna, your opinion. Your opinion. I'm, I think, then candidates solved all the problems of, uh, of the research. Actual problems for the teaching methods were solved and author's vision of the forming process of forming intercultural competence are represented in some aspects they can these uh, point of views uh, on in intercultural competence can differ but on the whole the author represented its own vision and and showed argumentation uh, which supports her vision. I res uh, respect the point of view of our candidate that uh, I'm sure that the th thesis on the whole contributes to the development of the methodology and is very valuable for uh, teaching methodology concerning foreign languages. I am for. Board member Fedotova Nina Leonidovna, your opinion. I'm not going to be too detailed. Time for. Thank you. Board member Vasilyeva Galin Mikhailovna, your opinion. I think that the thesis conforms with the requirements uh, given for the thesis, uh, for the defense, for the degree of the candidate of the pedagogical sciences, and I support the thesis and time for. Thank you very much. Board members Pratasova Ekaterina Yurivna. I'm for. Thank you. And the chairman Galationa Tatiana Gelivna, I'm for the degree. And counting of votes and the announcement of the results of voting. Thus, dear colleagues and guests, I declare that out of five members of the council, participating in the meeting uh, voted for five people no one voted against and no one abstained decision on awarding the academic degree of the candidate of pedagogical sciences on specialization 130002 the theory and methods of training Russian as a foreign language 
to Li Zizin is accepted. The final words of the candidate. Allow me to uh, express my gratitude to all those who took part in the preparation and discussion of my thesis. First of all, I would like to express my uh, gratitude to my scientific supervisor, Professor Leonid Viktorovich Moskovkin. Thank you very much that you opened a new world for me, for the knowledge of the methods of the foreign uh, of teaching Russian as a foreign language. Thank you for your support, for your kind advice, for understanding and support again. It is very difficult to um, write and defend the thesis. Thank you very much. When I faced with difficulties, you always uh, supported me and uh, gave useful advice. I also would like to express I wanted to express, uh, to thank, uh, to express my gratitude to all board, uh, to board members for their precious remarks and advice. And I would like to thank the uh, professors of the department of the teaching uh, Russian language as a foreign language. And uh, I would like to thank uh, the department which is responsible for the activity of the dissertation council. I would like to express my gratitude to interpreters, operators, to my family, friends, and relatives. Thank you very much. Dear friends, uh, distinguished colleagues, uh, the meeting is declared closed. Thank you all for participation.